G'day, mate, and welcome back to News Cycle with me, Jenny. In our last episode, well, we got a fledgling little colony up and running. We've hopefully got some food. Yeah, in theory, we've got some food. Uh, also have some lumber, have some ironing. It's actually, can we change that back just for a second? Have some tools, have some people, have some happiness. But there's a couple of things, a couple of things I need to deal with before we get to um, the scout and uh, rules. Rules, we'll, we'll deal with rules in just a minute. So, first thing you want to do is turn on the alt mode. And as you can see, we have an area message over here. Now, the area message is not very um, helpful, apart from there's an error. Now, the error is because, well, I have three people assigned to doing stone cutting, being breaking up their stone. There ain't a stone there anymore. So, I actually have three spare workers. So, I need to turn them off, which now means I have nine free workers, which is a nice bonus. Uh, you also have three people breaking up stone, which also has no stone left. Yes, uh, so we need to find some more stone, which I believe... Here? Nope. Uh, here? Nope. Uh, you. Stone. Three over there. Uh, yeah, we've gone through st two stone deposits already. Uh, we do have some amount of stone. Not a lot. Uh, but we have some. And we're going to leave them to hunt that down. And we're probably going to have to throw down some more in the not-too-distant future. But... I want to deal with a scout from another land. Greetings, Chief. We represent a small community. Our expedi expe expeditions, I got there in the end, led us to your settlement, and we're delighted to see such an advanced community here. We would like to partner with you in turn uh, and turn this acquaintance into a trade partnership in these challenging times. Every link between those you have goods to spare is a boom. What do you say? We are happy to do a trade. At the same time, I'm happy to ask that very important question. That is, well, can I borrow a lack? I just like to borrow a lack. I like to borrow a lack early in the video. Just like they'd like to borrow some goods. If you didn't enjoy the video, you didn't think the video was worth your like, by all means, you can have your like back. Um, so in theory, we've got a trade route. I don't know where the trade route is. I don't know what we're going to get for a trade route, but we've got a trade route. Uh, we also need some rules and regulations. Chief, our transition to a set of life brings with a dozen issues that need to be resolved. What the hell is that? It's gone away. Okay. Rules and regulations be needed to keep everything in order and running smoothly. As our leader, it's up to you to make the final decision. I hope you can weigh in demands and choose wisely. You can make sure that we'll support you as much as we can when you choose difficult paths. However, all the decisions you make will shape our community one step at a time. Always remember the burden you bear. I'll do all I can for our benefit. Okay, we almost have our daily lives in order. We secure housing, food to eat, and duties to fulfill. We've come to believe we're now entitled to some freedoms. We continue to comply with our assigned work schedules and perform extra duties. However, anyone who doesn't want to get up in the morning and go to work should be able to buy some extra rest by selling his share of food or some other supply. You should allow us all to barter amongst ourselves. Surely you can give us that much. So, uh, we can... New regulations, so it's like a new global rule. We can have permanent effects, so we can have plus eight morale to all classes, but minus five workforce to all classes by allowing them to barter. Or we can go for the socialist method. Uh, no, everything should be regulated and under control. As this is a permanent change, so permanently for the rest of the game, I'm going to get plus eight morale. That sounds very nice. But also minus five workforce. I'm going to choose to go with um, the socialist method. Yes. Yes, you shall listen. I shall be the dictator. Everything shall be fine. Don't question it. Uh, you still have an error message. I don't know why you have an error message. You also have an error message. Uh, you have an error message because you had nowhere to store the water. Okay. Is that why you have an error message? Uh, lumber, logs. No, we're still not at max capacity, so we're fine there. Okay. Uh, so I need to have research done. Uh, we have a storm, which is plus plus efficiency for windmills, minus workforce for hunters and gatherers, minus workforce for offshore fishermen. Okay, we're pretty good there. And lightning strike. Oh, that was the thing in the background. Or it was the fact that um, we had a lightning strike at last episode. And um, yeah, one of our mess holes exploded. We're not eating any food. Okay. Yeah, according to this, I'm not eating any food. Okay, we're just going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. Okay, morale is through the roof. People are happy. I need to upgrade you, but that, for that, I need six more people. So we need to wait for six more people. At the same time, uh, we're going to throw in... No, uh, resources. A 
field camp. I need to find another sort of stone. Nope. Uh, okay, so we have you getting stone. We can throw down you to grab some stone as well. We can see that you're capped out on water, uh, which is sort of the, what I want. I sort of want our water. Nope. Destroy, yes. And unfortunately, that cost me... I get back 50% of the resources, even though nobody built the damn thing. Uh, can I put a road through to there? Can I do a field camp? Can I throw you there? Technically, the field camps don't actually need a road. Uh, you... Yep, so I want to distribute my water over many, many, many different water supplies rather than just one or two. Okay, so that is the last of the stone on the map. That's all right. We'll find an infinite source of stone in the future, uh, providing we don't run our stone in the meantime. Okay, so we have a humble request. Okay, we've rapidly evolved from a small camp to a proper village. People are the cornerstone of fast-growing stable community like ours. Their needs and their well-being should be prioritized above all else. Let's try and raise the morale of the workers past us certain threshold understood everything will be fine our morale is through the roof so i'm gonna go with understood above 70. regular morale is 43. 10 25 30 40 50. hmm that indicates 70. Hang on, can I do overviews people? Uh, health. Health. Can I have you? Uh, morale 43. Okay, no. Uh, okay, 70. 70 is going to take a... Uh, okay, we're going to go with double tools and double food and... Hopefully that gets us there. We don't have any debuffs currently, uh, but we do need a camp name. Uh, can I have a camp name? Yeah, like. I'd like to borrow like. Surely that seems an appropriate camp name for my colony. All right, so we just need to wait for either six more people to be born or six more people to show up. That's pretty much where we're up to. Uh, food, as far as I can tell, well, now it's definitely in the toilet. Uh, we have plenty of mushrooms. You're converting two fish per day. Can I click that button to show you more resources? I can't see fish still. Uh, that is a frustration. There are some resources that don't seem to show up. You need to go hunting. Uh, consumption's through the roof. Okay, so I need to have less people cooking fish and more people finding fish. Uh, can we throw a gathering camp? Well, there's fish right there. Uh, this road... Mm. Is there another fish? There's another two fishies. Okay, we're gonna throw you there then. Uh, do you? You don't don't need. Uh, yeah, whether you need a road or not, I'm gonna throw in a road. Uh, what? What? There we go. Okay. Group of tra travel uh, strangers. Uh, plus five workers. Cool. That's what we needed to get you upgraded. No, forty nine and fifty. <sighs> Somebody age up already. So merchant has arrived. They'll have things we can sell. We can sell our basic tools uh, for a decent amount of money. Now, as you can see, the price falls on our basic tools as we start to sell them. So let's sell 24 and grab, well, some meat. Sure. That much. Cool. Confirm. Goodbye. All right. Extra meat never hurt anyway. Okay, and then ending, ending preparation. We need to make proper preparation to sustain our life here. One of the most important lessons the last 50 years has been that we can't rely on the season to behave as we expect. The fickle atmosphere can breed hellish heat waves and freezing gold in any geography. The state has only worsened with time and it would be foolish to expect to get it better from here. We need to stock up on our essential needs, at the very least food and water. This will help us cope with extreme season cycles as well as whatever pushes us to desperation. Although we can't be ready for everything, you can at least try and be secure and well-being. So, 5,000 water and 1,200 simple meals. Okay, let's call it. All right, uh, so straight away, I'm going to... I already have. I change you back to normal because the chance of me reaching 70 morale is about zero. Uh, and we have an extra person doing fish. 
So I'm hoping that'll be fine. Uh, where is... Who's cooking the mushrooms? You're doing fish. You're doing meat. Nobody's cooking mushrooms. Can I have somebody cook some mushrooms for me? Uh, soup kitchen. Uh, let's put not this kitchen beside the other kitchen. Let's put you over here. And... Yeah, I wonder if those resources went down when I knocked over that tree. I don't think they do. Trees don't seem to disappear. Yeah, we're not consuming any mushrooms. Okay, so we need to consume some mushrooms. We need to have you start working. And I still need one more person. Six children were born this year. Can one of them age up, please? Okay, we're going to cook some mushrooms and try and get to 1,200 meals uh, reasonably quickly. We're just going to max you out just for a little bit. You know, just uh, eat through the backlog a little bit. Okay, uh, water's done. Hmm. Okay, we might even throw in another stockpile. Uh, can I throw you here? Yeah, fill up another stockpile. What could hurt? More water. Okay, 118 per day. That's what I want to see. And we're maxed out on metal. I would like to store more metal. Uh, can I have a shift? There we go. Store another another thousand iron ingots. Please, please. Uh, we're going to need them later. Much later. Reasonably later. Uh, and you, we haven't unlocked paper yet. So yeah, we're, we're, we're literally just biding our time. Waiting for somebody to join us or level up or something all right after winter has rolled in uh we now have specialization so chief you've accumulated a massive pool of know-how but it remains largely undirected unrealized we need to train individuals with more advanced knowledge and practical experience in certain fields these people take on specialized tasks rather than odd jobs put them in charge of buildings wherein they can put their expertise to use as a natural consequence of this, their needs will differ from the rest. So, um, we're, we're starting to get, um, well, you know, second-class citizens. Yes, well, first-class citizen, one or the other. We should begin training craftsmen as soon as we can. We need to up some standards, such as separating various fields, work, establish necessary qualifications, start planning the training roadmap as soon as we announce your new regulations. So, if, if we do this, okay, craftsmen training times, which we haven't, we should have unlocked, we should have unlocked. I think we just hit the population cap to unlock it. Okay. Craftsman training times and resource requirements are halved. Worker to craftsman training time, uh, training success rates increased. But craftsmen, eventually when we get craftsmen uh, and they get power tools, they'll need 1.8 times more power tools. They have less efficiency and increased chance of workplace accidents or we make sure they're competent so higher efficiency reduced probability of workplace accidents at minus or negative to the workforce for the craftsman's class and training time and resource requirements doubled for worker to craftsman training success rates decreased so we're gonna go for that one okay is that even unlocked it's not unlocked yet it's not unlocked It unlocks the next tech. Closed Taylor Technical Bootcamp. Technical Bootcamp. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who has the wagon? You did well. The innocence. Oh, the wagon. You really the wagon. did. The wagon. I want to click on the wagon. Okay. End of year three. Oh, the wagon's just rolling through town. Okay, I'm assuming that's going to our new stockpile. Yeah. Hey, okay, we did the preparation. We got their morale above 70 and I didn't really do anything. Uh, it's now up to 83. Yeah, it's not freezing cold. Uh, small success and refreshment. These year's rains were enough to renew all the existing resources in the land. Mushroom meat and water resources renewed. Renewal rate, rate about 81%. Cool. Uh, highlights. Five people joined, 17 by uh, births, one death, and the total population increased by six. I don't know how you get these numbers, but okie dokie. And we built a whole lot of structures. Great. We still need one more person. Also, I maxed out tools. Can I add more tools to storage? Yeah. Okay. Can I cut you back then? Because you've consumed all our mushrooms. Uh, yeah, we're going to wait another day for the 
numbers to recalculate, but yeah, we've consumed all the mushrooms. Meat, we're consuming eight, we're producing lots. Uh, fish, no idea, because fish is not on the list. But, click on you, click on fish. Fish, input is 16, output is 12, so that's input, output, not consumption. It's input, output, not consumption. Okay. All right. Uh, you're fine. Yeah, you need to refresh. We need to get to... I oh, know, it's already hitting you, day. Uh, no, we're still fine on food. Okay, cool. All right, so still waiting for somebody to grow up. Three children became adults. Yay! We finally got this one. Okay, so we need to roll into the new day. Once we roll into the new day, then... And then another... Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, uh, we've reached roots and branches. Okay, so we've got another uh, another tech upgraded, another tech unlock. So this guy unlock the cow yard, the basic mine, the kiln, the pit, the scout skilled, the technical boot camp, the tailor, along with a whole new pile of uh, ingredients and recipes. Okay, first thing I want to do is I'm going to throw in a lumber mill. We already have one, I want a second, and... Oh, uh, patience. We'll get to you. Okay, we're going to throw that in. Uh, next thing, we're going to start unlocking things. So, community needs is all done. Vocational training. Uh, that'll let us unlock more people, but I want to get that event. I need paper. Uh, building statistics. We're going to unlock that one first, because that one I'm going to actually unlock. It requires knowledge, whereas these require paper. Paper I don't have access to yet. So, we're going to start with you. Uh, we're also going to change this lumber yard across to making... Oh. A research paper. Okay, we need a research paper. All right. Fine. What's this? Chief, uh, we know in no place to make excessive demands, but this is a fundamental issue. Community health is deteriorating to the point that we may start losing many of our followers soon. Lack of care, malnutrition, hygiene problems, and harsh se seasons. L let let's not have us remind you back to the blade, working long shifts and, and scorching hot weather, dehydration and weather affects us all more uh, likewise working cold without proper clothing, blah 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 blah, uh, take the right steps or at least achieve regular health and maintain it for 30 days, so we need to get to health class uh, health above 40, their health is at 52, I call that a win, we should be good to go okay I need this research done and then unlock the next research. And now I have travelers, uh, plus six workers. Yes, please. That gives us 58. Two, three, four, five. No, the other ones are still closed because they haven't opened because we don't need them yet. All right. So you're going to do paper. Once we unlock paper. Building a future. Okay. First off, let's do research. Can I get vocational training and start that? Okay, so with any one looks, the kiln, the pit, we also have clay and brick. I want to build a resources, a pit. Two off, please. Uh, can I put a pit here, which doesn't seem to have an arrow to indicate direction? And then let's put a pit beside it. Two pits, all the pits. Uh, can I put a road from here to here? And there's that rock that's going to get in my way. Uh... I want field camp. Is not rock that's going to get my way. Okay. So we want to put in two of those. Uh, we successfully got their health above 40. Good. We did well. Uh, also, can I get a kiln? Kiln will let us make bricks and also glass and eventually cement. Uh, we're going to put you here and you here. Directly across from your neighboring buildings. They require a lot of labor. Like an awful lot of labor. Uh, there is no lumber left. Cool. You guys have successfully ripped out everything. Demolish. Can I get a uh, field camp? And we're going to put you here. Yep. And I'm going to start harvesting that area. Okay. All right. Uh, building a future. Okay. Chief, we need to build a future nameless land and make it last. We need more people than anything else. Let's aim to increase our population to 100 within the next four years. The sooner we achieve this, the sooner we can become self sufficient and a healthy community. Cool. Sure. Let's agree to that. Sounds great. We're at 50 out of 100. And we've got four years to get there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to have you collect 
uh, clay, which in theory we can turn to brick. I'm going to have you collect stone. This is infinite amounts of stone. Uh, it also requires power, which I didn't pay attention to, so I'm out of power. Windmills to the rescue. That's probably enough. It's probably enough. Okay. Uh, what else did we unlock for that tech? That was it. Okay, so everything's been unlocked. Everything's been built. I just need you to finish so I can start having you do paper. And then I also want you to start making bricks. Yep. And you can't do glass yet. Okay. Why? You just got a barrel. Just, just, just throwing stuff. Okay, sure. Yep, let's just continue. Uh... Okay, can I do paper? I want five workers in there. As you can see, our worker numbers are getting lower. We've only got eight available. Okay, uh, can I do research? Can we do cultivation? Let's go for, no, okay. They're gonna require paper. Okay, we're gonna have to be patient whilst we wait for paper. All right, uh, in that case, if I need to be patient and wait for paper, let's have both of you make paper. Okay, merchant has arrived. You want to trade stuff with us? I can sell you meat, and I can sell you paper. And I can buy other stuff. I'm not interested. Later. Go away. Uh, story and knowledge. Okay, we've grown fast. Chief knowledge will gain more and more importance as we keep growing. As a community, we need ways to produce and share knowledge more efficiently. First step is the effort should be start producing paper. Produce 400 paper. Sure, that's the plan. I'm also going to spend the paper on research, but, you know, paper. All right, power has been solved, 415 power. We're good to go. Uh, and we're making how much clay? We're making 15 and we're consuming 12. Okay, can I throw extra people in here for the moment? And I'll throw an extra person there just to make the bricks whilst we can. Food is great. Water is good. We are on double rations. Meat's great. Mushrooms are great. Uh, iron ore is technically negative, but that's okay. We have a lot of iron ingots. And we've completed that. And I want to spend that paper on... Cowyard vegetables and herbs. Uh, or weaving clothes. Uh, can I wait off five seconds and do the clothes? There we go. Clothes. Okay. Can I do clothes, please? All right. That's the trader. Uh, foreigner who wants to trade with... Uh, yeah. We could get bronze. I get bronze. I don't have a need for bronze, so we're going to go with no. We'll just leave you standing there for a little while. Uh, eventually, we might talk to you in the future and do a trade. But until then... Uh, stone is good. You only produce seven per day for two people, whereas... You have three people. Two people is ten. Yeah. Okay. Development has been complete. We now have a tailor. In that case, actually, can I pull you off? And production. Can I get a tailor? Uh, we're going to put a tailor here beside the stockpile. Seems like a great spot for it. Okay. Back into research. Can I get cultivation yes can we also uh i haven't built it yet a technical boot camp because technically you guys need to attend boot camp okay can i get a road and drag that out to there okay you will start making clothes clothes are going to be important because that's actually maxed out can i leather just increase it i don't want anything maxed out we can still can still keep getting more stuff. I want to keep getting more stuff. Okay, can I also get oop, um, and we'll come back to that. Okay, I want you to make clothes. I want you to have four. Well, one normal worker. Uh, can I pull three off there and put them in here instead? Uh, you had resources too. Okay, can I pull two more off this? 
and one off there. I'm going to put them on that and that. Okay. All right. Fill all member slots. No. Uh, so you can take mm, craftsman. Craftsman. Uh, we're going to attempt to train two of them. Uh, can I? Three of them, actually. Uh, so fill all members. Uh, obviously we just had people were born, three children were born, 12 children became adults. Okay, start training please. Now it cost me a thousand paper to attempt to draft, tra attempt to draft five craftsmen. Uh, you are completed. Ooh, nope, I just spent a thousand paper, so I can't afford that now. But the craftsmen are much more efficient, much more efficient, sort of organize the masses, so to speak. Uh, they are going to have increased demands. That is food and water, but they should also up our production here a lot. At the moment, we're producing... Uh, can I just can that out right then? Stop working there if you don't need to. Okay. At the moment, we're producing 26. Four trainees were, became craftsmen. One failed. Uh, and if I add you, 43 for one worker. One worker. Uh, can I also increase our clay? Okay. All right, uh, you don't take on craftsmen. You don't take on craftsmen. A lot of these buildings don't currently take on craftsmen, but will in the future as they get more upgraded. Uh, can I change you back to wood? And can we do research? Can I unlock the mine structure? Okay, uh, we need to get food. Uh, so I want to have a cow yard and... This is fertility, the green overlay. So anywhere here looks good. Here looks very good. Okay, can I put in two cow yards? And we're going to hook a road into the both of you. And we should be good. Okay. Uh, we developed the, the camp. We now have 70 people. I have 14 that don't have a job currently. So we could probably look at that. Eh. Uh, bricks, bricks are not on the menu. That makes it hard to track. Bricks, 96. Oh, we consumed a lot for a building, I would assume. Uh, max that out. There you go. Okay. Uh, we don't have a basic mine, coal pub, or and coal, but I want to do you first. So I want to start harvesting vegetables and you, I want to start harvesting herbs. Not sure what herbs do, but I imagine they're probably going to be very important. Uh, also, I want a soup kitchen. And can I put another soup kitchen beside the other soup kitchens with a soup kitchen to go with the soup kitchen? Here looks good. Because uh, I'm going to want to start planting, well, planting. Uh, I'm going to want to start doing the next meal type being vegetable meals. Uh, you have one worker, you have two workers, we're going to cut you back. You have one worker, and once you're built, you'll have one worker as well. So, research-wise, that's the only one left. Let's click that. That was over and done with. Uh, mining 101. Chief, we now know enough to be able to build our first mining facility. In order to access the rich resources under the surface, we need to position these facilities carefully and begin digging mine shafts to reach whatever we can reach below the surface. Only once these shafts have been dug can we say for certain what minerals we can find in an area and how much of them. Uh, all veins are usually found on mountain slopes or in rocky areas. After selecting mine building, you view potential all veins by navigating close to the areas on the map. Let's get the pick axes ready. It's not a priority for right now. Let's get the big axes ready. Okay, I build a basic mine. That was the plan. Okay, we want resources. Basic mine. Uh, you can see I have one there, two there, three there. Can I put, oh God, I can get all three of them, all four of, all four of them right there. Okay, can I put you in there? Can I also put in a road there to there? Okay. All right. And the scout skill's done. Okay. I want you to give us vegetable meals. There we go. And hopefully that keeps our food up. Uh, also, I've maxed out on clothes. So can I get clothes have another 500 okay and also cut back on the amount of workers i don't need that many workers obviously okay another group of strangers yes they can join us and year four is over 
We zero people died, six people from new from outside, 20 births, and yet the only po population only increased by 9%. 7.76% 7 roughly of the resource replenished. Uh, water production is more than uh, more than needed, and also ration production is more than needed. Okay, no significant events. I like this. I like this so far. Okay, so with the mine shaft going in, uh, I need to click on this and then spend these resources to find out what's in this deposit. And then same goes here, same goes here, and same goes here. We're gonna just analyze all of them. Uh, we're gonna want to mine probably iron. Not that I need iron, we're good on iron. Copper wouldn't hurt, copper wouldn't hurt at all. Uh, coal wouldn't be a bad idea either. We will see, uh, but power's in the pooper again. So can we go utilities, windmill, and there, 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 and there. Just put in another row. We, we have the resources. Another, another row might be a bit too much. Maybe a bit too much. Okay, uh, so we have iron, we have coal, we have copper, and we have iron. So I'm going to set you up for copper as our iron is maxed. And you'll take in two of the specialized guys and just... So you're worth 15. You're worth one. So you are worth twice the production. So I'm just going to put two of you in there. Just two. Uh, what's the error message? Workforce needed for operating class. Oh, fine. You can have one of those. You can have one of each. All right, uh, can I get resources? Can I get another basic mine? I'm gonna put you right beside that one. Uh, can I also put in more dusty road? Yep, right away from there to there. What are you? Our children will live in a better world. You're homeless, why are you homeless? Oh, we maxed out houses. Uh, can I... A residence. Uh... So I need the tavern to light up. Uh, we're gonna go there, 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 and there. And can I throw a road through to here? All right, uh, we've reached moving forward. So we've reached the next step again. We're doing well, we're doing well, we're doing well. We're also, uh, yeah, we're also gonna end the episode here. Yep, yep, I've decided that's it. We're gonna call the episode here. We've reached the next cycle. We're gonna get into, well, as you can see, um, real buildings, real buildings with sand, glass, linen, grain. We're getting into tin, copper, wire. We're getting into the starts, the starts, the starts. We're also getting into another winter because even though this is up on the screen, it doesn't pause. And um, there's a number of um, things that I need to deal with, uh, but we're gonna be dealing with those in the very next episode. We're gonna go down a uh, 0.1 game speed. That seems perfect. Seems perfect. Technically, we're not paused. Technically, we're not paused. Uh, we also needed to get to uh, 100 people, and we're at, well, 92. So I think we're doing all right. We're also in year five. So, uh, yeah, do me a favor. If you haven't hit subscribe on, well, the video, the channel, uh, please do so. You know, you know, you can make sure you're going to see the next episode. New Cycle is about to release in Steam. It released the next couple of hours, which also means that I'm going to try and put in another video tomorrow. You know, if you want to see more, if you want to see more, this is why I'm going to suggest that you hit the subscribe button. With all that said and done, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.